the value of cot of cosecant inverse of 5 by 3 plus tan inverse of 2 by 3 is the options of 5 by 17, 6 by 17, 3 by 17 and 4 by 17 is asked in JE main 2008. Okay, so first let us try to simplify the expression inside this cot. So we know that there is a tan inverse, right? So if you are able to convert this expression to tan inverse, then we have a identity of tan inverse of x plus tan inverse of y and we can make it as a single tan inverse and we know tan and cot are, I mean, cot and tan are connected, but tan inverse can be written in cot inverse, then cot of cot inverse, we can reduce the, uh, finally, the um, result to an expression. So the first target is to convert this fellow to tan inverse and then we will try to add this and reduce, reduce it to tan inverse. So cosecant inverse of phi by 3 is same as sine inverse of 3 by 5 because we know that cosecant theta and sine theta are reciprocal of each other. So there is an identity cosecant inverse of any x is sine inverse of 1 by x. So it's 3 by 5. And if you want, you can convert this to tan inverse, but the point is whether it is going to be a negative or positive. Because tan inverse of sine inverse of 3 by 5, you got a strong angle. You know sine inverse is going to in the four quadrant, the sine inverse is going to give you either the fourth quadrant result or first quadrant. So that's going to be a positive result. So the angle is going to be the first quadrant. Therefore, the tan inverse is also going to be a positive fellow. So it's going to be tan inverse of 3 by 4. So this cosecant inverse of 5 by 3 is tan inverse of 3 by 4. So therefore, cosecant inverse of 5 by 3 plus tan inverse of 2 by 3 can be written as tan inverse of 3 by 4 plus tan inverse of 2 by 3. So we have got a formula that tan inverse is sum of two tan inverse functions is tan inverse of the sum of these values by 1 minus the product. Okay, so that we can simplify now, which is tan inverse of in the numerator, we have 9 plus 8, 17 by 12. In the denominator, it's going to be okay, 6 by 12. So 12 minus 6, you need not even simplify so that the 12 gets cancelled. So you get tan inverse of 17 by 6. But we have a cot. So let us try to convert this to cot inverse. Tan inverse of 17 by 6 is nothing but cot inverse of 6 by 17. Therefore, our expression that let, let me call it as E, E is going to be cot of, since this fellow is going to be simplified as cot inverse of 6 by 17. So the cot of cot inverse will cancel and you will be getting 6 by 17. Therefore, the right option is option B. That's the right answer.